My friend, James Dillett Freeman, wrote this piece of poetry one time called Rise. Now, like a crying on a fife, the rat-a-tat-tat of drums, a summoning of faith in life this August morning comes. With every passing rose affirms life's power to rise. Out of death, Shall I be still? With every bird that flies, flies but on faith. Shall I, in prison, stay bound? Shall I not start up too and cry that day is risen, risen in my heart? I would walk with James many times through our rose garden that we had at my ministry. And we would comment on the beauty of the rose. But some people would not see the beauty of the rose. They would only see the thorns. And what a terrible thing this is. When you don't look to the beauty, but look only to the thorns. And it speaks a lot about the way that life is. Sometimes we get a grudge against life. We think that life is painful, and maybe it has been. And we think that life can only bring us harm, and maybe it has in the past. But we end up only hurting ourselves when we decide that the world is a continuous, cruel place. We look for the thorns, and we find them, my friend when we should be looking for the roses. There was a poet that once said, there is no absence to kindness in this world of ours. Only in our blindness do we gather thorns instead of flowers. So I ask you to look for the roses instead of the thorns to look for the beauty and the potential of the beauty, even when there is a bud of a, of a new possibility in your life. Believe in God and believe in what can bloom and what can come to pass. And you'll find kindness, you'll find beauty, and you'll find a wonderful atmosphere that can make your life a heaven on earth instead of a hellish place. God bless you.